Hello, dear students. Let's go with the, with the other topics of revision. Today, what are we going to revise? The verb to be. The verb have got and the modal verb can. Let's start with them one by one. When do we use the verb to be? We use it to indicate a position or relation in a family or at work. For example, Ron is my brother. Mike and Sam are cousins. We are teachers. The second use is to indicate location. For example, I am in London. He is at school. The third use of the verb to be is with comparatives and superlatives. Paul is the youngest. New York is bigger than London. And the fourth use is to express qualities about someone or something. For example, she is beautiful. We aren't English. Let's conjugate now the verb to be in present simple. Be very careful at the contracted form of the verb to be. We see in the affirmative form. I am, you are. He, she, it, is. We are, you are, they are. To form the negative, we add the negative particle not. I am not. You are not. He, she, it, is not. We are not. You are not. They are not. What about the interrogative? To form the interrogative, we change the place of the verb and the personal pronoun that expresses the subject here. I am. Am I? You are. Are you? He, she, it, is. Is he, she, it? We are. Are we? You are. Are you? And they are, are they? What about short answers? We do not repeat the whole question in short answers. We only use yes or no, the subject pronoun and the appropriate verb form. For example, are you from Tirana? Yes, I am, a positive answer, and no, I'm not. We do not say, yes, I am from Tirana, or no, I'm not from Tirana. We use the long form of the verb in positive short answers. For example, is John your brother? Yes, he is. Be careful, not yes, his. This is wrong. Let's see now the verb have got. When do we use the verb have got? To, first of all, we use it to show possession. That something belongs to somebody. They have got a sports car, is the example. Then, we use have got to describe characteristics, often physical ones, of people. She's got long hair and blue eyes. I've got blue eyes too. And the third one to talk about relationship. Pete has got two sisters. We see here that we have used the contracted form of the verb have got. How to conjugate it? It is conjugated as a full verb, but be careful with the negative form. We do not use the auxiliary do or does as the other verbs, but we use the, this form. I haven't got. You haven't got. He, she, it hasn't got. We haven't got. You haven't got. And they haven't got. What about the interrogative form? We use have plus subject, plus got. Be careful at the third person singular because it has an irregular form. The verb 
have, we know that it has an irregular form in the third person singular. Uh, we use in the third person singular has plus the personal pronoun and got. Has, he, she, it, got. And in the plural, have we got, have you got, have they got. Now, what about the modal verb can? It has several uses. Let's revise some of them. We use can to express someone's ability in the present. He can play the piano, for example. To ask for permission. Can I use your book? To make a request. Can you close the door, please? To make a suggestion to somebody. We can watch a film, if you like. And to offer something, can I get you anything? To sound more polite or to be more polite, when we make a request or when we ask for permission, we use could, the past form of the verb can. Let's see the examples. Could I leave work at noon? Could you walk the dog today? How do we conjugate the verb can? What is special about it is that it does not take s in the third person singular. All the modal verbs do not take the s or es in the third person singular. The long form of the negative is I cannot, you cannot, he, she, it cannot. We cannot, you cannot, they cannot. We mostly use this in a written or informal language. While speaking, we use the short form, I can't. It is the same in all persons. How we form the interrogative? We again change the position of the verb can and the subject that here is the personal pronoun. I can. Can I? You can. Can you? He can. Can he? She can. Can she? It can. Can it? The plural forms. We can. Can we? You can. Can you? They can. Can they? What about the short answers? Can you dance is the question. Yes, I can or no, I can't. Again, we do not use the whole sentences in short answers. The homework assignment I decided for you for next time is to write a short paragraph about yourself using the verb to be have got and can in different forms. You don't have to write more than 80 words. Thank you for your attention.